What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about how we finally got some information from Rockstar about how Red Dead Online, Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to work on next-gen consoles. This is backward compatibility on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. And of course it has an image of GTA 5, which we knew was going to be coming to next-gen consoles and also Red Dead Redemption 2. It says with the uh, launches of both PS5 and Xbox S and S, Later this month, both PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions of GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2 will be playable on these new consoles via backwards compatibility. Along with the most recent versions of LA Noir, which includes the VR version of LA Noir and the VR case files and a number of classic other classic Rockstar titles. If you own a disc copy of any backwards compatible game, you'll be able to insert the disc directly into your new PS5 or Xbox Series X. This excludes the PS5 digital and of course the Xbox Series S consoles. Meanwhile, digital game owners will have the instant access to download any compatible Rockstar title they already have tied to their PlayStation Network or Xbox Live accounts. On PlayStation 5, these will be available from your collection section of your game library. And on the Xbox X or S, this is going to be ready from the install section. Either way, they said you're going to be able to pick up right where you left off, transfer save files and full games via LAN cables, uh, connecting wirelessly or with a USB storage device. You can also transfer your most recent cloud saves tied to your PS Plus or Xbox Live account. Now, the one thing that I, I thought was kind of interesting is, you know, back several months ago, they talked about releasing GTA 5 on PlayStation 5 on, you know, pretty close to release. That it was going to be available for free to everyone that there would be some enhancements to the game for next gen. That was really not talked about at all in this uh, kind of, you know, information that they put out. This is kind of, it's pretty much just a couple paragraphs. You know, they're talking about all the backwards compatible things they're doing. The reason I found that kind of interesting, because I was hoping we were going to get some kind of enhancements as well for Red Dead Redemption 2, considering it is a lot newer game compared to when GTA 5 came out. I was kind of hoping we would get, you know, like I said, a little bit of uh, information about maybe some enhancements to Red Dead Redemption 2, Red Dead Redemption Online, but there was nothing said about either of the uh, games, which is, I don't really would say concerning. I, I'm just kind of curious if they're going to do something separate about this later on. I'm kind of curious to see if they're still really going to really do it with GTA 5, or that was just a, you know, thing they were talking about eventually doing. They never really got into too much detail, even when it came to uh, GTA 5. So I'm curious, are you guys happy to hear this? Uh, I am kind of disappointed to not really hear any information about maybe some big updates coming with this uh, for Red Dead Online eventually. I was wondering if maybe that was the case. Maybe that's why we haven't seen as many updates. They were really just waiting for new gen. Uh, you know, that's why we hadn't seen a whole lot this year. But no comment from Rockstar about, uh, you know, what they're going to do next gen wise uh, with, with updates or anything like that. They also, like I said, really didn't tell us anything about any enhancements for Red Dead Online or Red Dead Redemption 2, which I was hoping we would get. Hopefully it would make the game improve the game, make it run better, all that kind of stuff. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. Uh, of course, GT Racing, which is the affiliate here on the channel. My uh, Twitter and the community Discord is linked in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.